a client that I'll call Alyssa came to me and said, Deb, I know that what I have experienced was emotional incest. What do I do about it? And what we worked on was her beginning to find her autonomy. I helped Alyssa tap into the part of herself that would champion her own identity. And the tough nut to crack, if you will, is to not feel as if by finding her own identity, she was betraying her father. What we worked on together was Alyssa being able to be there for herself by way of finding her inner voice, by connecting to her inner child, and being able to support her presence and her identity. At the same time, I had her work on setting boundaries with the parent, with her father in this case, who she was emotionally incested and therefore felt obliged and a burden to caretake in his adult life while she was an adult.